it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this warped cool looking grunge effect in After Effects. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So here we're going to jump in right into After Effects here and as you guys can see I've added my footage I'm going to be using for this tutorial here. And yeah that's basically what you're going to start to do. Have some footage you can use for the effect here so you guys can see how the yeah, effect looks. And we're going to start off by making a adjustment layer. So you're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. That's the shortcut for making a adjustment layer and here we're going to start off by adding noise and we're adding noise to really get that you know grungy noisy destroyed kind of look here yeah i'm going to increase the noise to 55 percent so now it's going to look something like this here you guys can see the noise here and the next effect we're going to be adding is called cc lens and we're adding this effect to make this kind of warped looking grunge effect basically. So yeah, this is the warped part and uh, I'm going to increase the size to around 150, 170 there. You guys can go up, adjust a little bit on how much you want around this. Looks good. So this is going to be the before and after. Looks pretty good in my opinion. After that we're going to be adding curves. And on this curves effect here we're going to just increase the contrast a little bit basically so we're going to make a s shape here by first making two dots here dragging this one a little bit down and this one a little bit up this is just a small touch to increase the contrast basically for your clip and now to really make the effect look really really good in my opinion we're going to add glow so add the glow and here i'm going to be using the default settings here i'm just going to decrease the intensity to 0.2 so now we have this kind of strong core glow and then now we're going to duplicate the glow and focus more on the actual glow glow <laughs> and now we're going to be duplicating the glow and we're going to focus more on the glow radius instead so you're going to press Ctrl D on the glow, that's how you duplicate a effect and yeah, that's a shortcut for duplicating anything in After Effects. And here I'm going to increase the radius to 250, so we really increase the radius here and then increase the glow intensity to 0.4 instead. It's going to glow a little bit more, but we're going to have the last glow touch here, so we're going to duplicate it one more time, Ctrl D. And here we're going to set the glow radius to 500 and then the glow intensity to 0 0.6. So now we get a really natural cool looking glow in my opinion. And this is the final effect. How it's going to look here. I think it looks really really good and it's an amazing effect you can use for your edits, your music videos. If you guys now want to save this as a preset you guys can go to the effects here and then press Ctrl A. And that's the shortcut for selecting everything. And now when we're in the adjustment layer, you're going to select all the effects. And then you're going to go up to animation and then save animation preset. And then you just type what you want to name the preset and then press save. And then you will have the preset basically. So now I save the preset and you can just search up the name. So I named it warped crunch effect here. And you guys can see user preset, you just drag it on a new adjustment layer, boom, you get the effect there. Pretty simple and uh, pretty good effect. And as you guys might know, I've made a grunge pack and if you guys like this kind of effects, this grungy, gritty looking effects, this pack is perfect for you. And I'm going to show you guys how one of the effects, just one of the effects looks. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to make an adjustment layer, Control alt y and here I'm going to be adding the grunge effect 15. And this is how the effect is going to look. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And guys, don't forget, this pack is no plugins at all. So you don't need any third-party plugins, any anything else to the software. Basically, you can just use the normal After Effects. And, you know, this is the result you will be getting here. And, and I actually have a discount code for you guys. You can use the discount code PELLE to save $5 of that pack. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have amazing editing packs just like this here. And don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram, where we post edits and stuff like that. And also don't forget to join our Discord server. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.